Big news for Grand Power Shooters, potentially. We're talking night sights for the Grand Power Pistols. Coming up next on GB Guns. So as many of you may recognize, this is the Grand Power K100. This is my older one that I carried for a couple of years. Before that, I've also carried the P11, which is the subcompact, shorter stock, shorter, shorter slide. Uh, love these guns. But one of the big complaints has always been the sights. They're not bad sights, but there's no aftermarket for them, or so I thought. So I was talking with Yaro, the CEO of Grand Power, and uh, talking about some future projects and things like that. We're getting ready to head over there later this fall if COVID doesn't block us. And I said, please, please, please do something with the slide cut so that there's an aftermarket option for us. You've got fiber optic sights on the Excalibur and the P1 Ultra, and the rest of them have these three dots, which are, aren't bad sights, but for guys like me that want to carry the gun, been kind of knocked out of the running for having good night sights. He coolly replied, CZ-75. <laughs> My jaw dropped. I've been a Grand Power fan for five years, been shooting these things. Nobody seemed to ever know or ever say that before. Eagle Imports, the former importer didn't say them. Global Ordnance sure didn't say it. So I took a chance and ordered up two sets of these Meprolite. Uh, this is ML1777 is the part number. See there? And they are labeled as being for CZ pistols of the 7585 and SP01. Got all excited. These I ordered these particular because they were inexpensive. Got them Optics Planet. Um, heck, I even used my own code for 5% off of GB Guns. And uh, as you can see, there is a small little roll pin underneath there that has to be driven out. That's the pin. Here's the sight, and you can see that it sits shoehorned into the slide, and this roll pin keeps it from moving front and back. So I knocked those out, it wasn't too tough, and what do you know, I've got Meprolite night sight for a front sight post. Now what we don't know yet is, since these are not cut for the roll pin, is the tension there enough to keep it in place? A lot of people are going to say no. I'm a little nervous about it, except that I know how hard I had to beat on this thing to get it to fit in there does fit it appears to line up right with the rear sight we're about to shoot it and find out now i will say these sights are not the brightest um, not my choice i don't know if they were old inventory and maybe the tritium's going out or just meprolite's not that bright but they were inexpensive and i could get them quickly and i figured for an experiment let's just try that so without that roll pin in and uh wanting to see if our point of impact has shifted at all. I mean, it sure fits nicely. Let me get the camera to focus for you. And it, it looks just like the factory sight as far as fit. The white dot is a little bit bigger than the original factory sight, which does bother me a little bit because I like to aim off of the top edge when I'm shooting for accuracy. But what's more important for me on a carry gun is being able to see in low light. So I'm gonna load up some rounds. Uh, somebody here at the range happened to leave up an old target. We'll uh, stand off at seven yards and see where this thing hits compared to uh, the other one. Okay, I've got five rounds of PMC bronze, just standard 115 grain ammo. This is being filmed during the COVID craziness, so every shot counts. Giving you a look at what the target looks like before shooting and I'll step off to the side of the camera and starting with first this guy the old k100 put five rounds on it i'll leave the target there and aim in the same spot with the other gun my new k100 with the meprolite night sight and we'll see if we get the same point of impact Hold that one a little. 
Did I leave it zoomed in? Yes, I did. So you can see about where we're hitting there. We get five more rounds and we'll swap it into the new K100 with a Meprolite night sight and see if that makes a difference. I'm really curious. Yes, these are two separate guns, but this is a much quicker and for me more efficient way of testing than swapping the sights a billion times on the same gun. So here we go, five rounds through the new K100 with the Meprolite. Wow, that front sight post sure is louder. And it looks like we hit the same spot. I'll take it. So I realize this is kind of a small audience video because you have to have a grand power and you have to be interested in aftermarket sites for it. But uh, it was groundbreaking for me. I'm glad to see that it works. I'm gonna leave these sites on here. Maybe try a different uh, front side post if I can find something a little brighter. But man, shooting the two side by side, this white dot does pull your eye a whole lot more. Now, as far as rear sights, I hear they're maybe a SIG dovetail, so it's kind of complicated. The nice thing about front sight posts, though, is it is possible to order just the front sight post, and all I needed was a punch and a hammer to beat out the old one and pound in this new one. Thought this was pretty cool. If you've tried any aftermarket sights on your Grand Power, let us know in the comments below so this can turn into a source of information for all Grand Power owners because, uh, man, that really changed things. Makes me feel much better about carrying this. You know, previously I had kind of told myself, yes, night sights are good, but if I can't clearly make out sight picture, then either I'm shooting in a situation that is so dark, my target may not be properly identified, or I'm shooting so far away that it might be a questionable defensive shooting. That's kind of BS, that might shave off some of the situations, but it's not a complete answer, such as having actual night sights. So, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.